Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a OnePlus 2 to work with its USB, uh, sorry, its USB Type C port with on-the-go devices. Now I did buy this SanDisk USB Type C um, storage device. It's a 32 gigabyte one. I wanted to back up everything directly just by plugging this into the phone, thinking that it would work. Only after getting this did I realize that there's loads of videos that people have put up on YouTube and elsewhere about um, these devices not working. So there are people saying that you need to buy a OnePlus um, gen genuine OnePlus USB Type-C to a micro USB converter then you can use devices like this. These are sort of your on-the-go card readers. This is an all-in-one. It's got a standard USB. It's got a micro and a normal SD card reader and some other trans flash. Oh, it's got the M, sorry, M2 and MS readers in there. Now this one's got a power light on it so it will come in really handy to see um, if it works or doesn't. So I'm going to be playing around with that. The other bit I've got is I've got a USB Type-C to micro USB converter. Now this is an anchor one and here is the product code, any details that you need if you do want to order this. I'm going to be testing this out. Now this I bought, unfortunately it doesn't work directly into the phone so it's not a complete waste. We'll find another way of getting this working and hopefully this video will solve that and help all of you other people who or everyone else that needs this because you know you've got 64 gig of storage on here and you know what in this day and age it doesn't seem like a lot even though you've got backup devices on the cloud and things like that you just want to keep this clear it runs better when it's empty as well or sorry should I say not as full because obviously if you've got a full device it's going to take a lot longer to find everything so what we're going to do is we're going to try out this USB micro uh, sorry USB type C converter to micro USB we're going to plug in this on the go device hopefully it will power it up and then we're going to just use the other end of this which is a standard USB 3.1 which is high speed and hopefully I can get 32 or whatever the available space is on there of stuff off here on onto here freeing up my phone just in case anything happens to it or if I want to change phones it's easier to transfer so let's get started so I just wanted to show you guys that when you plug this in to the phone it makes a click doesn't actually do anything you don't get a, a USB device connected symbol at the top I'm just checking it's fully plugged in yeah that's in as far as it can go so you can see there there's nothing there and if I go into settings let's bring up the storage on here storage and memory I've got the on-the-go storage, so enable reading from external storage via on-the-go. So that is switched on. You can see that's in blue, so that means it's switched on. And if I go to storage and USB, it's only showing you the internal storage. And you can see I'm almost out of space. You can, you can actually see that there's no way of viewing plugged in at the moment. If you're going to explore here, oops, you'll see you've got the internal storage and just my um, Google Drive. You can see again down here I've only got five gig of internal space available. So it's not showing up in any way shape or form and that is plugged in there and it's as far as it can go. Now this is not a fault of this USB mass device or this storage device. It is actually a fault um, in OnePlus's software or in their hardware. It's something that they haven't, I guess, fully um, allowed 
um, third-party devices to work with their phone and this is very irritating because these devices you know can can be used on any other device uh, these sorry these um, USB devices can be used on most other phones which have USB type C so a very very irritating problem to have but I'm confident we're going to solve it today okay so first things first here's the converter here's the on-the-go storage device or converter that I'm going to use and I'll show you this one so this just slides out so you've got the USB type C there just by sliding it the other way is the high-speed USB 3.1 it just tells you that it's 32 gig now this is this is tiny this device I'll put it next to the phone just to give you an idea next to this converter and that is what really attracted me to buying this it's tiny and it just you know you've got you can put a lanyard in there just to keep it on your keys or whatever so let's, next thing is we're just going to connect it up and see what happens and if the phone even recognizes any of this now fingers crossed guys um, if this works this could be a cheaper option than buying the original OnePlus USB Type-C to micro USB converter. Right, here we go. So here it is. Plug it in and see what happens. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with two hands trying to hold the camera. Right, there we go, it's plugged in. Now, first thing I've noticed is the light on here has come on. So, it seems like this anchor converter or adapter seems to be doing the same job as the original um, to power this up. So obviously it's giving it some output, it's giving some power to that. Now we're just going to unlock the phone and see what happens on this end. Right, so first of all ES File Explorer has kicked up. Open ES File Explorer when the USB device is connected. So it's, it's recognized that. So I don't want to use ES File Explorer. Uh, Explorer. Now let's see, so here it's recognizing a USB device of some sort. Let's see what it actually says. So transfer photos and media. Let's see that. Okay, so we can use file manager or files, I don't know. I'll just use file manager, we'll just use that once. Let's just see what happens on here. So, ah oh, right, okay, so this is the storage device. So if I go back to categories, you'll see here, oh sorry guys, having some issues with focus. So this is the internal storage here. And up the top, you get the option here of storage. And that's where it's coming up. Now I already named, named this as me. And I did that on my, I plugged it into the computer just to see that the actual device was working and it wasn't faulty. Um, so clearly it wasn't faulty it was just OnePlus doesn't seem to support the USB type C that comes with SanDisk um, on the go devices so I hope this video has helped you um, just before I go here is the model number so this is B8174 this is the anchor power line USB type C female adapter and it's a pack of two I got um, again I said as I said I'll put a link below this is the USB type C device but clearly you don't need one of these you can just use any I'm sure you've got one kicking around um, but in the case of people who may be going to a new device with a USB type C conf uh, port on the bottom um, which is not necessarily a OnePlus um, may still want to get this so this I think I got it on offer on Amazon on Prime Day um, and it was I think it was less than 15 quid so pretty good buy on that one so good luck guys you know I hope that this helps you um, this is going to save me a lot of hassle I wasn't I wasn't really willing to spend well best part of I don't know 15 20 quid on a on a OnePlus converter just for this 
you know, I've already got the Anchor ones and I'm sure most people will probably be happy to spend nine, ten quid it was for a pack of two of these. Um, and that's it. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>